Hey guys and welcome to today's video and I will be doing a DIY blusher and oh, and it will be a um, kind of creamy like blush, not exactly creamy like. So let's just get into it. Yeah, we will kind of be a blush. So I'm just going to be doing it here. I need to check if you guys can see it. Okay, you just put the light down. So, I'm going to be keeping it in this container from Cadbury. It's just a hot chocolate lid. I'm going to need a spoon, some neutral eyeshadow, the pink lipstick of your choice. Mine is from Body Collection. It's a maxi lipstick in the colour Minx. And some moisturiser petroleum jelly. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is squirt some moisturiser in. And I'm using Skin Systems Young Skin Matte Finish Moisturiser um, because I don't want it to be, I don't want my cheeks putting that, that much in there. Um, this is the lipstick in the Colum Mink. I don't know how well you can see that. Um, and I only have a bit of it left. It's a really bright colour. So let me just kind of swatch it. Oops. We won't need, be needing a lot of it. So I'm just thinking about this much. That's about it. Okay. Oh, I need a tissue. Wipe, wipe. Okay. Next, I'm taking a neutral colour. This is Miss Sporty's um, Duo in 205 Gold. And these colours aren't very gold, so I don't know why they decided to call it gold. But I'm taking the a bit of the side and a little tiny bit of the brown. So I'm just taking a bit of this. Scraping it in because I don't want it to be such a bright pink, you know, and a little bit of the brown. Okay, then so mixing it up. You could use the back of the spoon, which I prefer to, but it's up to you. So you want to just take all of it and mix. Now, depending on how much you want, oops how much you want to make you need well I need to crush my lipstick to be able to mix it in with um, I think I think it would be better like taking I don't know some pigment like pink eyeshadow pigment that would look pretty good okay. so the colour I'm actually pretty pleased with it's a really nice like raspberry type of colour. I really like it. And I think I will be using this quite a lot. So I think I'm gonna make a little bit more of it. You see that it's actually a really pretty colour. Um so I'm just taking a bit more moisturizer or well, a lot more moisturizer. Um Some more eyeshadow. Oops. Oops, sorry, I can't open this at the moment. Oops, come on. Okay. Okay. And of course, some of the lipstick. Sorry about that, that was my brother. There we go, I'm just taking some of the lipstick and putting it in. Okay, so we are mixing. Taking the original colour that we made before. And we're trying to get the same colour. Sorry, I'm talking, talking really quiet. I've only just realised. Just 
I really like this raspberry type of colour that we're getting here. I think it's actually really pretty. Mm. Yeah. I do really actually like it. I think because it's such a um, strange consistency, I think I'm going to add some petroleum jelly. Getting really dirty. Yeah, so I'm adding the petroleum to give it more of a, um, you know, just a jellier kind of, you know what I mean, just, yeah, creamier kind of look. So you're going to have a chunks of it, which I don't mind because I use it a lot on like. Yeah, I'm just going to go and get some tissue, I'll be back in a minute. You can have a look at the corner. I'm back with some tissue. Let's start on a white microphone. And, uh, the spoon. Everybody says go on I've been loving Royals right now by Lord or Lorder, I don't know. However you pronounce it, but I've just been loving that song. Okay, so now I'm just neatening the edges up. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try and um just like spoon it out here. So does that make sense? Spoon it out. Flatten it out at the bottom so a really nice kind of you know subtle look nice and neat I really like this colour you know it's actually really pretty um this is going really bad okay soon Smooth, 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 smooth. Then it runs again. Smooth, 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 and smooth. I'm just leaving it like that because it's going to get even worse. And now I'm just going to clean the edges. And I will do a swatch of the colour. And after I'm done filming, I will go and put it in the fridge to you know kind of just harden that. This is a really cool little DIY product. It doesn't take a lot of time you know, it only takes five minutes without all the talking and fussing that I did here. I mean I would have done it quick if I didn't have to talk for the camera but yeah. Um, cleaning the edges so it doesn't look like there's lipstick stuck on the edges. Um here's your cream blush. I don't have a lift for it because this is actually good. Um yeah. So I hope you like the colour. This is the colour I just do a swatch on my hand. A really nice colour. I think you might need to set it with with something because, but you can definitely build it up if um, build it up if you want to get more colour, or just build it down like a total just like tint. But it doesn't really matter. So if you might want to add a bit more oil into it. But yeah, this is the finished colour. I don't actually mind the little bits of lipstick in. You could melt your lipstick, let it cool and then pour it in. 
Well, I prefer doing it like this. I think it looks pretty cool like that. It looks a bit different and original. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed and I will talk to you guys later. Oh my gosh. Bye. Oh, subscribe. <laughs>